The light bulb moment came at the end of last season. It was a challenging year for a club, but also from an individual point of view. I got to the end of the season and just had a dark cloud above my head. There was no clarity, there was no sense of real direction. I just was unsure and, and I didn't know why. I was at Neville Crowe's funeral, which was a sad day for the footy club. And I, I broke down with Dimmer and just I just said that I, I didn't know where I was. Dealing with adversity can help turn good leaders into great ones. At the end of 2016, Richmond captain Trent Cochin reached a crossroads, questioning his capacity to lead. But his courage and honesty have helped him become a better leader. I always thought I had good relationships with my teammates, but I don't think I had great relationships. I was trying to be this perfect leader, this perfect person. Vulnerability is seen as weakness in, in the male spectrum, but the reality is that vulnerability is courage. I stood up and addressed the group and I was emotional about taking the armour off. The weight that was lifted off my shoulders after addressing how I felt just put me in a really good place. With Cochin more comfortable than ever as captain and the team playing consistently well, the Tigers look set to break their recent finals hoodoo. But Richmond fans know better than to get too carried away. I do see why people can get annoyed and I know all the ups and downs because I'm a Richmond supporter. I sense the impatience there and you know there's been many times where you know they thought maybe we're on the verge of it. Looking back to 2013, first year as captain, I had no idea what I was doing. But such an exciting year for the football club. The first final in 10 years and there was a lot written about that. If the players aren't ready, the crowd are. They've gone berserk. This is very much a Tiger House. I watched all the supporters come in and I reckon it was two thirds Richmond and a third Carlton. And you get out to a five goal lead against a team that finished ninth. You know, and we'd been criticised over the years for finishing ninth all the time. And surely we couldn't lose. And we did. You know, I remember walking away from here and I thought, it could only happen to Richmond. So I guess I'm part of that whole vibe that's been created. I don't think there's a scar. I think the greatest thing about our game is that typically the lessons you learn from losing rather than winning are far greater. And our group is in a position where we're just embracing the growth, whether it be in season right now or our past experiences, there's been lessons learned that we think will hold us in really Uh, in a really unique and special way. A lot of people talk about glass half full, glass half empty, but we, we talk about... And you can, probably the 